Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, we will study about horizontal projectiles. At the end of this video, learners are expected to describe the horizontal and vertical motions of a projectile and solve word problems involving projectile motion. A projectile is any object shot, projected, or launched in the air. It may refer to a ball, a rock, or even a particle. The motion of a projectile takes place in a vertical plane. When given an initial velocity, it follows a path mainly affected by gravity. Without gravity, any object thrown horizontally in the air will follow a straight path. So what is the motion of a projectile? Projectile motion is a two-dimensional motion influenced solely by gravity that has a non-zero horizontal velocity component. A baseball thrown by the pitcher, a golf ball hit by the club, or a basketball thrown towards the basket all have one thing in common. These objects simultaneously move in the vertical and horizontal directions. All of the examples mentioned exhibit projectile motion. As mentioned in the previous slide, the following are examples of a projectile motion. Projectile motion is a combination of horizontal motion and vertical motion. The horizontal motion of a projectile is constant because no gravitational force acts horizontally. While the vertical motion of a projectile is nothing more than a free fall, with a constant downward acceleration due to gravity, which is equivalent to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. A projectile moves horizontally with constant velocity, while being accelerated vertically. The result is a motion in a curved path. In a horizontally launched projectile, the horizontal velocity is constant. As you can see in the animation, horizontal velocity all throughout the motion is 100 meter per second, while vertical velocity is changing due to gravitational force. While in a vertically launched projectile, the horizontal velocity remains the same throughout the motion of the cannonball, while vertical velocity is increasing negatively towards the gravitational force. An object projected horizontally will reach the ground in the same time as an object dropped vertically. No matter how large the horizontal velocity is, the downward pull of gravity is always the same. The horizontal and vertical motions of a projectile are independent of each other. It means that the motion of the projectile along the x-direction does not affect its motion along the y-direction. The horizontal component of a projectile follows a constant velocity motion and the vertical component follows a constant downward acceleration. Since velocity along the horizontal component is constant, the initial velocity of the projectile is equal to its final velocity, or to any velocity at any time interval. Therefore, initial velocity is equal to final velocity, or simply Vx or velocity along the horizontal. And since there is no change in velocity along the x component, the object is not accelerating. Hence, acceleration along the horizontal is equal to zero. Similar to any object moving in a straight line, the distance covered or range of the projectile is equivalent to x is equal to vxt, where x is the range, v of x the velocity along the horizontal direction, and t is the time. The equation must basically derive from the general equation of velocity or speed. An object thrown horizontally has a vertical motion similar to an object dropped from rest. Thus, it can be concluded that its initial velocity along the y-direction is zero. To solve for other components, the four equations from the previous unit will be used. Only this time, instead of exclusively using v of i and v of f, a subscript y is added to emphasize that these velocities are along the vertical or y-direction. 
Resultant velocity is the vector sum of the horizontal and vertical components of the projectile's velocity. It can be solved using the Pythagorean theorem as final velocity is equal to square root of final velocity along the horizontal plus final velocity along the vertical axis. This diagram shows that the final velocity of the projectiles is composed of the vertical and horizontal components. Using one of the equations from the previous unit, let us solve this word problem. A stone is thrown horizontally at a speed of 6 meters per second from the top of a cliff that is 70 meters high. How long does it take the stone to reach the bottom of the cliff? To answer the problem, let's follow the following steps. Step 1. Identify what is required to find in the problem. You are asked to calculate for the time it takes the stone to reach the bottom of the cliff. Step 2. Identify the given in the problem. The following are the initial velocity, height, and acceleration due to gravity are all given. Step 3. Let's use the working equation y is equal to viy times t plus 1 half gt squared. From this, we can derive the formula for time. t is equal to square root of 2y over g. Having the given values in the word problem, we're just going to substitute the values in the given formula, wherein it will become t is equal to square root of 2 times negative 70 meter over negative 9.8 meter per second squared. In performing the equation, the final answer will be time is equal to 3.78 seconds. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell.